Good morning, everyone. Today is the 3rd of February, 2019. And I hope you're having a good Sunday morning. I'm reading from the Daily Light this morning. A compilation of the King James Version of the Bible verses put together. Be strong and work, for I am with you, saith the Lord of hosts. Haggai 2.4 I am the vine, ye branches. He that abideth in me, and I in him, the same bringeth forth much fruit. For without me, you can do nothing. Good morning, Doris Matua. Hope you're having a good morning this morning. I can do all things through Christ, which strengtheneth me. Philippians 4, 13. God bless you too, Doris. Strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. The joy of our, the joy of the Lord is. Ephesians 6, 10. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, let your hands be strong, ye that hear in these days these words by the mouth of the prophet. Strengthen ye the weak hands and confirm the feeble knees. Say to them that are of a fearful heart. Be strong, fear not. The Lord looked upon him and said, Go in this thy might. Nehemiah 18 and Zechariah 18. If God be for us, who can be against us? Romans 8, 13, 31. Let us not be weary in well-doing, for in due season we shall reap if we faint not. 2 Corinthians 4 1. Galatians 6 9. Thanks be to God which giveth us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. 1 Corinthians 15 57. Well, I'm glad that um, we can trust in the Lord with all of our heart. Whether we're in Kenya, Africa, or we're in the United States, whether we're in India, or Romania, or Pakistan, or Afghanistan, or London, England, or Alberta, Canada, or South America, wherever we are, <laughs> Jesus Christ is omnipresent in him we live and move and have our being he's with us all the time he's holding us up donna guthrie hodas welcome aboard he is strengthening us he's giving us comfort Where would we be without Christ? He's our everything. In him we live and move and have our being. There is no other mediator but Jesus Christ. He's the only mediator between God and man, Christ Jesus. We can look to him, for in him dwelleth all things. He created all things, and by him all things consist. He's the author. He's the finisher of our faith. With the joy that was set before him, he endured the cross, despised the shame, and is set down at the right hand of the Father. Well, I hope that this day we can find comfort in knowing that we have a friend that sticketh closer than a brother, closer than a father, closer than a sister, and closer than a, a brother. Amen. He is always with us when we have any particular concern or need, we can cry out to our Abba Father. 
I recently lost my physical father. He died in November of last year. But you know, I have, I have a heavenly father and he will never pass away. He will always be with me and comfort me and stand beside me regardless of what may be going on. And the same for all of God's people. All of God's people. Christ is the fountain of all good. Yes, there is a fountain filled with blood drawn from Emmanuel's veins. This fountain is an endless supply and with God's elect forever remains. This everlasting water we drink of each day to replenish our souls along the pilgrim way. Christ, the fountain of all good forever, doth provide a shelter from the storm and in the cleft of this rock we hide. Our thirst he will always quench when we are oh so dry with this everlasting stream of water he always does supply. Good morning, Stephen Wilcox. Welcome aboard. It is truly wonderful what the Lord has done by giving his chosen people his dear son. The perfect sacrifice to atone for their sins that knew no beginning and never will end. This eternal vital union gives comfort to the soul to know that our destiny, our Savior controls given to him before the foundation of the world this eternal adoption has just begun to unfurl lord let your marvelous grace speak to my soul when the waves of trouble over me roll may i always cry out abba father to you knowing that forever i will be with you you know <clears throat> If you think of times in your life when you were the most discouraged, when you felt the most alone, when you felt uh, maybe abandoned, if you think of those times and the maybe sorrow and grief you, you, were, you were sensing, um, there is there is a remedy for that discouragement. There is a, a remedy, a solution when we find ourselves in physical pain as well as spiritual pain. Sometimes we have to go through what seems to be insurmountable odds but, you know, <laughs> these trials that we go through merely drive us to our knees. And these trials God uses to strengthen us in our inner man, in our inner souls. You know, we are looking forward to the day when we will no longer have to go through the trials that we're going through. We're looking forward to that day when we will no longer have to face the trials of this earth. Daily trials will soon cease when we reach our eternal rest, when this world shall pass away and we're no longer in distress. With all the pain and suffering that we must endure and in the arms of our Heavenly Father will bring boundless joy, I am sure. Daily trials will soon cease when we go home to be with him who gave himself a ransom and died for his people's sins. No more daily trials to plague and give us grief. We have reached the eternal glory, the place of eternal relief. Daily trials will soon cease when my soul will take its flight, never again to be awakened in the middle of the night. With this pain plaguing my body and the test of this cursed earth, 
I praise the King of Kings for giving me new birth. Daily trials will soon cease and I won't remember the past, for my tears will all be wiped away, never again to last. Eternal joy will be my portion as I rest within his arms. Daily trials are now over. I now can see his charms. Well, what about the... Uh, what about the trials that you're going through this morning? Can you look to Christ to give you strength in the midst of all of this? Can you find comfort in knowing that he has done all things well? You know, sometimes it seems as if God has left us, but he hasn't. Master, I plead that you would not tarry too long, for I'm very weak and really not that strong. If left to my own devices, I would perish suddenly. Master, please don't tarry. Come and rescue me. Master, please don't tarry, or I would be cast down. My sins would overtake me, and I'd be laid to the ground. Master, please don't tarry. Come to help and stay close beside me in the morning, yes, at the break of day. Thank you, Master, for not waiting. You were there all the time. Even though this wayward child's eyes are often blind, you told me underneath me were your everlasting arms to hold me and sustain me and protect me from all harms. Thank you, loving Master, for letting me see. Your loving arms are open and always holding me. Well, the last one I want to read before we part company today is titled uh, Where Sin Abounded. Forgetting those things of the past and remembering Christ daily for what he's done, where sin abounded, grace much more abounded for us. What a wonderful thing to think on when we remember our former sins. Grace is much more abounding for those who've been born again. He has cast all our sins as far as the east is from the west. This will stand up against the devil's accusations against us. This will always pass the test. What a wonderful thing to always remember that even though Satan is the great accuser of the brethren, grace is more abounding, assuring us a place in heaven. May the good Lord be with you today. It's my prayer. May you be encouraged in the things of the Lord. And uh, you are in our prayers. And keep me and my family in your prayers as well. God bless.